a home, everyone. It's been a while since I've come here and made uh, videos for you again. Um, this is a public video because there is so much that we need to start covering. Um, the end of the year is coming again. <gasps> oh my God. You are probably now all wondering, oh my God, what have I done with my life? For this past year well what have we done with our lives for the past three years right um and i'm sorry for the background but i am working on a new book and working on several uh videos for voiceover um and those will be out soon um we need to talk about several things that i have been given information on and not only am I giving, being given information on, but I have been asked to start preparing, start, start at, at a level that everybody is going to understand. And the level is your consciousness. You keep talking and you keep hearing people talk about conscious awareness and conscious awareness and conscious awareness and a lot of you understand but there's a higher number of you that just say oh yeah oh yeah but you're not taking the time to help yourself truly understand what these things are and you are the ones that are going through these uh different levels let's let's understand that Everything that's around you, including matter, it's in here. There's a reason why there's that wonderful little phrase, mind over matter. Mind is over matter, but it's also mind can control matter. What is that? say to you now some of you have already you're all I, I can feel it oh some of you are like yeah what else is new but some of you are still like okay we keep hearing the same thing maybe I should listen yes you do need to listen the reason why you need to listen is because things are happening right I am not a fear monger I'm not I don't feel that there needs to be fear embedded in any message because it doesn't work. It hasn't worked for centuries since the start of existence. Fear has never worked. And the only thing that you get out of fear is, well, I should have known better. Um, I shouldn't have fallen for that. Um, oh, well, I guess it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Um, yeah, I'm much stronger. Yeah, you are. But these are all excuses. And at this point, and you will see that I'm not the sugarcoat fairy. Um, at this point in our existence, why are we still vibrating pieces of our lives in a fear timeline why are we bringing that energy from our past and bringing it into our present why are we still fearing what are we fearing that we cannot change It's here. And what's in here? What are we able to produce here? We can make changes. But we need to allow ourselves to do that, right? We need to give ourselves permission. We need to tell ourselves, you know what? It's not like everybody else 
is saying. It's what I'm feeling, what I am seeing, what I am experiencing, what I can change. And if there's enough of everyone that can get together and say, this is enough in a good way, in the right way, fully consciously aware that only through acts of love can we actually erase the old cumbersome ugly word of fear because fear is what got us here but fear is what got us here and this is where and I think I speak for every single spiritualist in this planet we're done we're done now, we're not saying, oh, let's cause the havoc and the chaos. No, because with those negative energies, we cause more fear. Because there are still people on this earth that do not understand. The only way that we can help them is by helping ourselves. It's like that little airplane uh, when I first started the series, it's these little airplane, um, the, the airplane is losing, what is it, altitude pressure? What is it, honey? Pre okay, so it's pressure. So the plane is losing pressure. And from the top, you get that little thing that comes up that pushes out oxygen so you can put it in your, and everybody's always telling you, put yours on first before you put anybody else's on. People, this is the way that it is. Now, am I saying that there's anything to fear? No, I am telling you that you have more power than what anybody has ever freaking told you from the beginning of time. What is encoded in your DNA that has to do with fear, what has been encoded in every cell in your body that tells you to fear, right? All that. You can release. You can actually, actually detoxify. And you can put dormant. Whatever it is that you decide. Whatever works for you. Don't let it, anybody tell you how it is that you need to do something. Every single person has their way. That's why an illumination might work for some people. An exorcism might work for some. Because it depends on what it is. If it is not an exorcism, if it is not a banishment that needs to be done, that energy <laughs> that that person has, because it is the person ultimately, the one that you're trying to help, that is the person that will hold on. And you feel, well, I wasn't able to do it. I wasn't able to remove them. Ask yourself at that point, why? wasn't because you failed because that person did not want to let it go so here we are in today's society with today's people fighting some want to ascend some want to evolve someone it's all the same thing it's just how you call it and how you perceive it and how you explain it right but it's still the same thing why are we here? Why did we don a meat suit that sometimes doesn't work? Why would we do that? Why would we do that? When that answer comes to you, you understand. But it depends on your level of consciousness and there are many but i'm just going to touch on six basic ones because if i tell you how many there are because there are in each lifetime you have a new set in each uh 
reset, you have a new set. Oh, yes, resets, that's a thing. But we'll talk about that on another day because that's a whole new thing. Well, it's not new, but it's going to be new to many people to understand how how we reset. And everybody's on the same page when we do a reset. It's wild, but it's so awesome. And when you finally understand it, you're like, ah, so I guess that is what eternity means. Okay. So I want to talk to you guys. I really, really do. I want to. I want to talk to you guys about these six levels of consciousness, and I'm only going to give you six. There really is a lot more, but we need to start slow, um, and that's one of my uh, personal uh, messages that I have to uh, work on. I need to start slow with everyone because we understand We're in a different consciousness at this point, a lot of spiritualists. And what's happening is we're all such in a hurry to get to the next phase that we're forgetting those that are not ready, that have no idea what's going on. And then here we go. We're going to grab them all, ascend them again without them knowing. And there are going to be more and more people that say, I'm lost. I don't know where I am. I don't know what I'm doing. This is what happens when we ascend and we don't prepare. Um, so I'm here to help, to give you some kind of guidance, however I can give it to you, so that you understand. Now, there are phases, not really phases. These are levels. Um, and not everybody is in the same level. E not everybody is in the same level. And the, and and it's going to take many lifetimes to get to some of these levels. And guess what? Some people on the first try, they say, no, I'm not going back anymore. And guess what? You have the right to. So one of the things that um, that we consciously need to be aware of and consciously need to understand what's well, raining consciously need to understand and it's not only for us but we need to understand that there are people out there that don't know that life happens to you life happens to you life happens to you right when we look at life happens to you, we're like, what? I know life happens to me. No, 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 no. I'm not going to give you the second one until you understand what life happens to you truly me. Okay. You're going through life. You were born, whatever lifetime you picked. And. You're living as a human being at this point, right? Because we all we all decide what we what we're gonna live as. Okay. And you see that you start realizing life is huge. Life is a wonderful opportunity. You got all these choices, you got free will. But what's going on inside of you? You're there's one thing that you're not doing. You're not living from where. You don't remember you have a soul. Nobody remembers they have a soul. When was it the last time you had a conversation with your soul? We have conversations with angels. We have conversations with our ancestors. We have conversations with spirits and entities that come through that show us, that give us messages. Boo. When has it been truly, truly the last time that you have spoken to your soul, had a conversation? It's tea and soul time, dear. Let's let's go ahead. Let's let's put you on my calendly. And today I'm gonna sit with my soul. When? Chances are you haven't. 
not in honesty, not with integrity. You ask for things. That's how we connect to the spirit world, when we need something. In Spanish, my grandma used to tell me, uh, ¿Se acuerdan de Santa Bárbara cuando truena? It means they remember uh, St. Barbara only when it thunders. Yes. Right? And then here we are understanding this and we're like, well, I want to know the future. And you see that as, as, a, as a, a spiritual reader, a soul reader. I will tell you that everybody wants to know what's coming in on the future. Newsflash. And I don't care about the slack I'm going to get with this. I don't. If you don't get your present together, how could you possibly have anyone be able to give you a reading on your future? You, if you are a spiritualist, I don't care what you are, but a spiritualist is my broad sense of who you are, of what it is that you do under spirit or spiritual influences. If you, and I'm talking to those that are doing the work, if you see your client, you're reading your client. If you're seeing your client and your guides, the people you connect to, the people that they're connected to, they come into your sacred space. Do not tell me that they don't tell you this person does not have a future right now because they cannot get their present together. This is where we have to stop. This is where we have to go back to that first level of of consciousness, of higher consciousness, for crying out loud. And we have to tell the person, you need to get your act together, sweetheart. I can't give you a future. There is no future at this moment because you are too worried about the future. You're not living. You're wasting your life here in the present. So your first understanding, even though you've been doing this for years, is am I getting? the information that I need to get to. And if I am getting that information, am I truly telling the truth? Am I, have I passed? Have I conquered that first level of higher consciousness where me and my soul sit down and me and my soul say, I am going to do this with integrity. I am going to give my clients the information that they need. And if they don't have a future, I'm going to warn them and I'm going to tell them. Oh, a lot of us are saying, give me the money and I'm going to tell you what you want to hear. People, this is not how we all ascend. We don't. And we don't want to leave anybody behind. And if you're one of those people that does, I pray for you. I truly do. And I hope that you see what this is. So, these first, this particular first level of higher consciousness where you truly, truly understand that life does happen to you is where you freaking wake up in the morning. Your heart is happy. You, you have this joy. You have this feeling that something awesome is going to happen to you. You're like, what? 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 And you get to work and you're like, good morning, everybody. I think it's going to be a great day. You sit at your desk. You open up your email and your boss calls you in. Hey, Mary, I'd like to see you a minute. 
You get up, you're walking, you think you're going to get a promotion. You're here, you're like, oh my God, I'm going to get a promotion. Or I'm going to get a raise. I did a wonderful job last week. I Let's see, my boss wants to talk to me. You look back at, at, at your coworkers and you're like, wants to see me. Yes, they do. And you walk in. And you get fired. Right? All of a sudden you get sick. You start feeling ill. Uh, car breaks down. All kinds of stuff. People, right? That when you were working and you can maybe spring for a coffee here and there, they're not talking to you anymore. Right? And then you continue in this lower vibration because, I mean, all these things are happening to you and you're like what is next oh my god you have no idea well you do have an idea if you're a reader if you're a spiritualist people come to you because they're saying oh i'm so lost all these things are happening it's one thing after another mary one thing after another and you're like now there are things that do happen and there are energies that you attract Okay, so yeah, you start wondering after a while, well, what, what might be happening? What, is somebody doing something to me? Are they sending me stuff? To, you know, do I have bad juju? Did I, did I, what, you know, what's going on? Is somebody doing something to me? Because that's the first thing you get when you go to uh, a reader or you, you know, you got some people that are doing this and doing that. If your people, your spiritual helpers are not telling you that, don't make it up because your client is not consciously aware that this might not be the case. But everything around you is saying, oh, that, that that's not what it is. Okay, but of course. Right. Um, when you live in that that world that life is happening to you I need you to really really think about it life when you live in that little universe that you put yourself in, that life is happening to you, to you, you are in defense mode. You're like this, right? And then your brain actually starts working overtime keeping you busy right wondering looking around the corners wondering what's going to come next what's going to come next then you become super vigilant what? what what is this letter all about why am i getting this letter Oh my gosh, should I open it? It's going to be more bad news. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do it. You stop living, people. You stop living. And what happens to your present timeline? You had a past lifetime and timeline. You have a present timeline and you have a future timeline. What is happening while you're being entertained, believing that, Everything uh, is lurking to get you. What is happening to your future timeline? What is happening? Someone standing there, namely you, cutting away at your future. You're going, that's not going to work. 
and you keep going. <laughs> That's not going to work. And you keep cutting and you put yourself into this energy mode where you're like, wait a minute. What am I doing? You need to be open. You need to understand that your life is not in the past and your life is not in the future. Your life is here in the present. And if you bring your past and stick it right there and live in your past, your present gets displaced. Then your future becomes something unattainable that you can't reach. And your present now becomes your future. Oh. Your present stops because it does, it knows it does not belong in the space of your future. So it stops. So everything around you stops. People still don't talk to you. You still don't get the right job. You've got a shitty boss. Oh my God, do we have shitty bosses. But we got them, right? It's how we react and how we go around it. You can't do that anymore. This existence cannot do that anymore. It, one of the biggest reasons why we are in this is because we continue, continue to hold our past as hostages in our present lives. Hello. You need to get your past, learn from it, take your notes, okay? Take your note. Put it back in the past. That's where it goes. Because as we heal here in the future, I mean in the present, okay? As we heal here in the present, things in the past that did not serve us gets healed as well. Never to come back again. Never to hold you back again. But it needs to stay in the back. The only way that we can do that is by finding ourselves and by understanding that we need to be consciously aware. The more often you find yourself in your victimhood to life, the less conscious you are now if this is how you want to live then this is how you want to live there's nothing the rest of us could do but we can the rest of us that do want to ascend that do want to move up in our level of consciousness higher consciousness at that we will need to disconnect it's not a threat this is not a threat. It is a truth. We disconnect and we wait. We wait for your energy and for your desire. We still teach, but we wait for you. But the rest of us move forward. Now, are we going to leave it behind? No, absolutely not. But we respect the fact that there are things that we don't know that you signed up for. We get told by our helpers, but there are things that you don't want anybody else to learn or know about. We have to respect that. And with all the love in our hearts, we have to respect and love you for your choices. Not judge you. Not make you feel bad. On the contrary. Give you as much information as you need. So that you can flip that switch. Join us. 
and see how wonderful it is to live in our higher consciousness. But there are things that the meat suit goes through. Everybody here knows that. We just send you healing and love, give you opportunities, even more opportunities, so that you can get out of what it is that you're getting out of. But this, this is a general understanding that there are levels of higher consciousness that we all, I don't care who you are, all that bears a meat suit, bears responsibility, wake up. We know. We all know. Those of us that have already entered where it is that we are, we're calling on you to wake up. Please wake up. Please try. We're waiting for you. Great. Now let's go to... Um, we're going to go to our sponsors. And these sponsors have the carefully picked. I just don't take in any sponsor. Carefully picked. Um, so if there's anything there that you feel that um, is calling to you, that is between you and your soul and that person that is uh, able to help you. You will remember at some point. And we'll get back to you after the sponsors. We're going to go into the uh, second level of higher consciousness uh, and awareness. This is where we talk about life happens by you. Ooh. So let's go on ahead and we will return in a few seconds. Because this has taken half an hour, I don't want to take any more time. I was going to talk about the second level of higher consciousness that we really need to start working on. But what is the problem? These videos are just too long. So we are going to be breaking these up into smaller, uh, into small uh, videos. So I'm going to make it a series. It's not fair uh, to keep you hostage for hours <laughs> because my videos do tend to be very long. There's a lot to talk about. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all these levels of higher consciousness series. Um, one, one level at a time. Give you time to get through this energy to be able to take in the information 
see how the conversation between you and your soul can start something. The idea is for you to start something. The idea is for you to say, oh gosh, yeah, um, I think it's time. Um, I'm, I've been asking and asking and asking for someone to tell me what's going on and to tell me that one of the reasons why I feel lost is normal because there are things that I don't understand that is going around, around me and I need to understand it. Now, one of the things that I am going to recommend is forget everything you have ever been taught. Everything that holds the energy of fear, you got to work on that. You got to let that go. You got to understand that fear is a low frequency. It doesn't belong to you. If you take the fact that we are co creators, that this wonderful divine creator has made you in not only in his likeness but with his breath he gave you life which means that he put a piece of him in you how can you truly truly believe That you are a bad person. That you are not worthy. Do you know how it must feel to him? When we pray. Because we pray to the divine. We ask the angels. And we ask everything around us. All our helpers. So, can you imagine how it feels to our creator when the first thing that comes out of our mouths is, dear God, I know that we are not worthy. You are telling a creator that created you perfectly in, in, in a divine sense that you know for a fact that you are not worthy of him listening to you. What are you saying? You are telling the divine, listen, dude, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, you didn't do a good job. So start there. Start there. Start Letting your creator know. You done good. Right? You done good. Now I'm, I'm praying for you because. First of all. I want. To have a relationship with you. Oh. That changes everything. That just changes everything. You do the same thing with your angels, with your archangels, with our beautiful otherworldly helpers, with Mother Nature, Pachamama, Mama Gaia, with the sun. Do you think that they're, all these things are just there because they're an illusion? Do you really believe that all these things here are just there to entertain you. Think again. Think again. Everything that you have been told, you have been indoctrinated into. Think again. Thank you for joining me. I hope this brings you hope. I hope this, this video wakes you up. I hope it tells you, it shows you 
that there's so much more out there. There's so much more good out there, except what we're getting fed on the news. That's junk. That's crap. That's lower frequencies that you're being fed because people are awakening. It's time for you to do too. And if you are a spiritualist, you're not out of the realm of awakening. Wake up. Truth and integrity comes first. A home to you and yours. I'm ready for the journey, are you? See you soon. MH Cares is a complete emotional and spiritual care provider. We have the tools you need for your emotional and spiritual well-being, bringing together conventional and new age psychotherapy modalities. Call us today and find out for yourself. If you're looking for a sign, this could be it. MH Cares, we show you how to master your harmony.